okay welcome so in the previous session we learned about how to create the aws account and now in this session we will going to create the ec2 instance and we are launching our own website so for this one so we were in this page once we create the account you can just go to your dashboard that's the aws here then from here you can directly access ec2 and uh, yeah different services so otherwise you just have to click here view all services if you are first time coming here then here it will show directly ec2 and uh, that uh, s2 something other services so here you just have to click view all services and now we are going to use the ec2 instance so in this one click on the instance we need to create the instance so this is the one earlier i used so if you are using the first time means here it will be empty just uh, think like uh, nothing is there here it's just empty then we need to create an instance so for this one you have to click on launch instances so then for here it's showing for the free tier in your first tier includes 750 hours of t2 micro yeah so this is what we get in the free tier that means we can just terminate the session all these uh, whatever we are using like um, ec2 or any other services we will terminate once we learn how to do this so now i need to mention the web server name uh, i just call it as uh, same thing okay h d r o h i t h same thing then okay so after this we have the application and uh, os images i'm choosing the amazon linux you can even have the windows or red hat or anything but for this project like for this website we are using the amazon linux if you use something other means the setup and all will be little bit vary that's it so we will use this linux machine and this is the pre tier uh, 64 bit amazon micro here t2 micro and here key pair name so for this one initially it will be empty you just have to create new key pair and it will download some key pair file and uh, it will come directly here like whatever you gave the name here that will come here you just have to select it it will be auto selected if you are just uh, creating the first time means just you have to click create new pair i already have this new pair so i'm using this one then after this so here create security group or select existing group i'm just i you just use create security group allow ssh and https and http okay so ssh means uh, just to get access to the uh, whatever instances we have using ssh we can access its terminal or the instant linux system and uh, these to https and http that's because we are creating the website that means the web server so we need to allow these two so that any user they will use our uh, uh, they want to visit our website uh, then we can use it using these two protocols then okay these things okay so now this is done then after this you just have to click launch instance please wait while it's launching okay so now here we can see successfully initiated launch of instance then just click on this so now our instance is okay so instance state it is showing as a pending that means uh, it takes some time to change the state to the running so once becomes running and here status check it has to th there will be a two checks both the two checks have to pass so now we can just refresh it and we can see yes it's running now 
and status check just wait for uh, 30 seconds maybe so once these two become fine we can go to the next step so here okay uh, we can just click on this instance id and uh, uh, that checks uh, i think it will pass what should make it sure we can just uh, okay so it's still in initialization state uh, but it's fine uh, nothing we did right so it will pass so now here we have our instances and its details so this is the instance id and we don't have any ipv6 address and hosting so in in this one like there are many ip address we can see right so which one to use like which is our public ip address so for that one you can just uh, read through this what and all these differences here that means uh, what is the private ipv4 address and uh, uh, private ip v4 means we can just use it from within the like our uh, system and other vps if we have another instance we can access this instance within the aws that means it is not from the internet we can't able to access our instances from the internet that means we can't use this to access our uh, uh, web server and the public ip v4 address so this one yeah public ip address is an ipv4 address that's reachable from the internet that means we can use the public ipv4 address and uh, private ip dns name means uh, it's a dns uh, name it will be resolved into the private ipv4 address so this dns name will be resolved into private ipv4 and public ipv4 means uh, if it is a internal then aws will resolve it into internal ip address if it is from external means aws will resolve into public ipv4 address so that means we can use now public ipv4 dns or public ipv4 address in these two anything we can use for a time being but what happens means if we use the public ipv4 address uh, let us say if i uh, just uh, uh, restart this uh, instance or if I, if i shut down this instance and if i restart it this aws sometimes it will change the public ipv4 address so we can't able to uh, use this use that ip address um, because it is changed and we can access the server so we need to use the new ip address so instead of that if we allocate the static ip address aws provides this elastic it calls this as a elastic ip address so if we use the elastic ip address our ip address will remains constant that means whatever um, the like uh, uh, if we shut down or if we restart anything and uh, this elastic ip address will remains constant so we can use that same public ipv4 address or public ipv4 dns that means this dns will be mapped to this elastic ip address that is a public ip address now like that it works so we will create it that time you will get more more clear okay so now uh, let's just check it out here i told right these two yeah two bar two checks passed so that means now okay it's good to go so in this one we can use public ipv4 address or uh, to access our instances from the internet or website from the internet or we can use public ipv4 dns this one okay so these two we can use so now if i open this one open address 
so it can't load this page because nothing is hosted on this server okay or if i open this one nothing we can able to see here okay so now if we go to the okay so here we can see all these details status and all so now we need to access our instances that means here is a connect option click on the connect connect ec2 user okay let's connect to our instances so this is our system what we created instance so now here now we need to for the web server what we use means we use httpd okay so that's a small application that will uh, host what that acts as a server to host our files okay whatever we index uh, or uh, index or html or any files uh, web pages so before we start we will update our linux system so for this one i think i can little bit zoom it okay so now for this one we will use this command sudo m update okay let's copy this one this is to update so okay i'm just copying this and we have the ec2 instances here and we'll paste this one here so it will get updated if anything so uh, now it's updated because just now i updated it otherwise you will get lot of uh, this terminal things and it will get updated and after that we have to install the httpd httpd and uh, start it and enable it so for this one we can just copy these three commands and we can just paste it here in the ec2 instance or you just have to type these three commands okay so now a dependent it will install it's already installed here but it will install and uh, it will control then after that so we have to go to this directory we are www bar html and we need to create an index.html file so let's go here cd okay i this has to be small cd bar b a r bar so what is the directory www bar html so that's the directory this server will going to uh, host the files by default so now here v a r bar www bar html okay so now here we need to create the index file so for that v i and uh, index dot html i need to use the super user so sudo index dot html and in this one now press i i means insert so now we will write okay so here this try it's uh, coming here so right uh, welcome and you need to press escape and double quotes and w and q okay so now we will check cat index.html what is the content inside okay i wrote double uh, l c o m e it's fine you just have to write the proper content here uh, it's not actually properly visible here because it's like uh, i type i think the color is uh, black so text color it's fine but you got it right you just have to write anything like h1 h1 tag and uh, welcome or uh, something like that we can just correct it if you want um you will just correct it we'll use the insert here you can see the 
this one right so here just look at this here it will be incrementing and I just want to write um, h1 and welcome -E welcome okay then we need to close that h1 okay so I wrote but it's uh, not visible here but I wrote here you can see this one uh, then after that I need to press ESC and uh, double colon WQ that means save and quit so now if we just see the content here okay welcome oh at the end I even press the E right let's uh, delete that okay so now I think it's fine okay okay let that be uh, after the H uh, I don't know why it's coming let, let it be uh, and even I forgot to write H1 also okay so E and back it and uh, maybe now it's fine whatever it is it will come now we just uh, okay so it is fine now yeah it's absolutely fine uh, so now it is just a h1 tag and welcome so now we created this file index.html so now we just have to uh, restart our uh, server so that it includes uh, this file okay uh, yeah I just need it uh, cut uh, okay so let's just paste it here I will share that file don't worry uh, here in the EC2 instance I need to paste it so these are all not these are the earlier command this is the old command we just have to okay so I'll just show the command from here uh, this is the command the same thing uh, I, I will just copy the command from here okay. because that had some issue there and we'll just paste this one in the here okay so this has some bug I need to restart it but it's same thing uh, I just have to restart it now the file is there we just have to restart that server from anywhere it's fine so now we restarted this uh, HTTPD so now the so now if we go to this one and we will check whether it's uh, no still it's not coming uh, and this one okay so we will make it as a HTTP and we will check yes it's working HTTP welcome and uh, here also I think uh, it's because of HTTP yes it's not coming you just have to make it as HTTP yeah both these are coming see this is from the internet that means uh, this is our uh, site but why we can't able to access it using the HTTP yes there's a question why means we don't have the SSL certificate which is associated with this one so even though in the security tab even though in the security tab we included these rules like 443 HTTPS but we don't have the SSL certificate that's why our browser is not trusting and without HTTPS this website is a trustful that's why it is not accessible but if you make it as HTTP then it is accessible as mentioned uh, here we use this for a testing of our web page so once we 
like we purchase some domain then uh, we can just go to amazon aws and we can apply for the valid ssl certificate for that domain you can find uh, more information if you just google ssl certificate on aws okay so now we are testing it on a port 80 so then like if i restart this uh, our instance this will going to change this ip address will going to change that means this one this is a this is the ip that is the finally resolved public ip address and this is the public dns so aws will convert this into this ip address if we are reaching the site from the internet if we are reaching this site from the local then it will resolve this into a private ip so this is a public ip and this is a public dns 